and I kiss her on the face like. Want to be part of the GSI Nation on social media? Follow us at Gotta Say It Radio on Twitter. Like us on Facebook at Gotta Say It. Or, or not. Jack Warner. God bless this bless man. Bless his heart. Oh, yeah. And I mean now, that exactly in the Southern now, way. If you've not, if you've not <laughs> heard this audio yet or seen this video yet, Jack Warner, former vice president of FIFA till about, I believe 2011 or so, put up an eight-minute video. He's a politician in his home nation. Uh, I forget where. Is it Trinidad? I think it's Trinidad. Trinidad. It might be Trinidad. And he put up this eight-minute video where he basically defends himself. And we here at GSI have a journalistic integrity to bring you that video. <laughs> and sadly, through we, sound. Yes, through sound. We have the audio of the video. We've got a couple of cuts here. Now, Soberman, uh, what's the label on this first cut? Warner Cut 01 on Conspiracy on Him. Yes. So let's play this and let's hear the magic of Jack Warner. Good day to my viewers on Warner TV. I that want to say. TV that this past week has been the most trying one for me, a most difficult one. After spending some 30 years in FIFA, 30 consecutive years, 15 years almost as FIFA vice president, to have had these charges leveled at me without any question of any kind on me, left me totally surprised. And even the outcome of me having to face the court without any advance notice from the Attorney General's office and having to face the court at the very last minute when I, when I surrendered to the police makes it doubly difficult that this conspiracy could have gone so far. But I am consoled by the fact that many of you on the blogs, on Twitter, on Facebook and other, other channels throughout were very supportive of me and still are and in some ways, that has given me the kind of solace, peace of mind, and confidence which I need at this point in time. So he's mad. <sighs> he's mad. You know what? If they're going to arrest me, like, give me a call. Like, text me that you're going to arrest me. Something. <laughs> Hit me up first so I can put a better pair of shoes on <laughs> and look acceptable when I'm dragged Is out of my Is he, like, home. not aware? Like, how do arrests happen in other countries? I don't know. Like, they, did, did hey, he expect send, you an, send you an, you, an email. Send hey, you an alert so first. You know. They give you a first warning. They send him an evite to his own arraignment. <laughs> hey, Jack. So, you know, we're just going to come to get you tomorrow. So be ready. Don't keep us waiting. No, normally, it's the text from the guy down in the lobby saying, hey, are these guys here for you? It's like jury duty, <laughs> but for jail. Oh, I got to get arrested tomorrow. <laughs> we'll just push back the barbecue. I can't. <laughs> I'm just my, really my, quick. My favorite are the ones who self-surrender. Yeah. The ones who actually go to... The, either the federal, the courthouse, or they go to the the marshal's office or the police station, and they just say, "Well, I'm here today to surrender because I know you're going to come for me." Mm-hmm. And they end up make, taking. It's like the Rick. What's it not? Is it the Rick Santorum mugshot, or was it the, uh, the what, Rick, not, Perry, Rick, not Rick Perry? Rick Perry. Santorum. No, yeah, the Rick Which Perry was? mugshot. Santorum Sorry. is something totally different. Rick Santorum is different. <laughs> Rick Perry mugshot, where he's there smiling, just you know, because he's like, "I know I'm supposed to be here today." It's all fine. It's all good. And if you have a take on this, give us a call on the Doc Ellis hotline, 201-297-5574. That's 201-297-5574. Renice, you had a point. I will say that this is a grown man that was upset that he was being made fun of on Twitter, Facebook, and the blog. (laughs) Oh, no, he was happy that people were defending him. He said they were, uh, uh, like... He just searched his own name on Twitter. Yeah, it's just like he's got Google alerts set up and say, what are they saying about me today? And according to him, it's not Facebook, it's Fezbook. Fezbook, Facebook... Whatever. It's a very fancy looking Facebook. Yes. My, my it's wearing is, a bow tie because bow ties are cool. It's just him sitting in front of a webcam oh, and with complaining the, with about the people shirt. having a conspiracy. With the brightest shirt. He did not wipe it, it's like, at all. It's like watching a 16 year old vent on their vlog. <laughs> like, this it's is like a grown man. He took a break from Xbox Live <laughs> to record an I'm eight su- minute video. I'm surprised I don't hear him in the background. <laughs> so Shadows of the Fall or some emo band. He's the one you hear on Halo yelling that he's dating and he's your mom. he's slouched ever so gingerly. I'm actually going to tweet out from our, uh, from the Gotta Say It Radio Twitter account if you guys want to actually watch yes. the video because he's just, he looks like a dad. Yeah, he does. He just kind of looks like a depressed grandpa. <laughs> he, who obviously decided to come up with Warner TV 
You oh know, yeah, just too. five like, minutes ago. Is this the first episode? Yes, I think so. Is he going to give us a Insta- web series from jail? Oh, I want that. Instead of the lovematic grandpa, it's the uh, <laughs> the sad problematic grandpa. <laughs> yeah, problematic. All right, let's hear. Let's hear that next. Next take. one. Oh, this is thanks to all the people who gave him money. Yep. Oh, oh good for you guys. Whoever did that. Keeping the duffel bag you full. You see, it is not when you're up that you know who your friends are. It's when you perceive to be down. And some of the persons who I thought were my friends. Today I realize I was a dreamer. They were not. <laughs> and those persons who I thought were just casual friends, oh they, 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 they emerge to be stalwarts. You have no idea of the amount of persons who send their, their deeds the music and who send in the checks so as to <laughs> be able to start in. my bill. Because they realized that all the properties I had, none of them could have, could have been of any use since they all had my names on them. And therefore I can't be... I can't stand my own bail, so to speak. So to all of you who who came out with your deeds and properties and, and, and even your blank checks, I want to say thanks to you. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> You're, you are lying. No one sent you a blank check. Are, no uh, one gave you all the blank checks. No one showed up with a deed and was like, take all my land, sir. Thank you, Ogden. That is not how that works. North Averbrook. I didn't know people had deeds anymore. I yeah. thought it was just, it seems very Acme, very was Bugs it, Bunny of you to show up with a deed to something. Were they just saying, shut up and take my money? I yes. think that's exactly how that went. No one Warner did that. better have my money. I, I don't care. Nobody did that. He's 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 not of this earth anymore. I thought he was quoting Imagine at the beginning of the, qu- the clip. Though. I, got really <laughs> I thought he was in okay. Let's hear the next clip. Number three. Can we Im- imagine, imagine a world... Uh, with full corruption. <laughs> I left FIFA four years ago. Having spent 30 years, having been the youngest person from the smallest country ever in the world to have reached that fine FIFA. Good How is you. it I can be responsible for any perceived culture of FIFA? How is it that the whole world, <coughs> my apologies, <laughs> the whole world expected me to have the influence so as to change a World Cup bid? I am hearing things from quite a quite Australia. Australia promised to assist in developing and fixing the center of excellence. There were no strings attached to that. I said, fine, go ahead. And they helped to fix the center of excellence. And I said, fine. How can that be used now? You see, you see, the whole point is that at this point in time, Jack Warner is everybody's whipping boy, both nationally and internationally. But that has been overridden by those persons who are standing in my corner. And for whom I'll ever be grateful. So just because I was in FIFA during when it was happening and a high-ranking executive doesn't mean I had anything to do with he, it. He also like, referred to himself in the third person. And yes, anyone yes. that does that, I immediately do not trust them. <laughs> he was there opening, like keeping the bank door open, but yeah. he didn't actually rob the place. He, he, so. had, he left the engine running. He yes. was driving the car. And then but... put his foot gingerly on the gas. Yes. I don't understand time. why the whole time he just sounds... He just sounds like a 16-year-old that's complaining to their girlfriend why he was grounded, and he has no idea why. Yeah. Like, I don't understand why. I didn't do anything. I was just sitting there minding my own business, and then Dad, who's a jerk, like, Seven. that's how this sounds. Of course they had to walk in just at the moment I was taking the cash. Like, you know, they it's don't, like-, like, knock on the door first. I'm in here, like, laundering money, which is totally, like, it's, you know what? It's not even, like, a crime, whatever. And they don't even knock on the door. Wow. They didn't even ask me first. Well, they didn't see the do not disturb sign. It's kind of like, in. why are you going to ground me? I have like a FIFA party on Saturday. This is totally not fair. Yeah, this, this, this is my, this is my favorite one. This is what we call the great, the, the usual defense. I'm going to call this one the usual defense. I have never changed the culture of FIFA. Nothing I've done in FIFA has been inconsistent with the international culture of FIFA. And therefore, I think it is pathetic and sad for me to be accused of these in FIFA, which I am not guilty of. I, I, how do you judge, for example, that, that after all of these, these accusations, that the, 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 president, the president of FIFA, Seb Blatter, has been reelected for a fifth consecutive term. If I was so bad, and if FIFA is so bad, how come the head of FIFA is not? I was just following orders. That is the defense he is offering There's- here. Well, it worked for everybody else. So. Wow, well, it, 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 it is it is what we All call... All the oh, other salmon swam that way, so sure. I was just doing what everyone else was doing. 
They all jumped up the bridge, Mom. And, and why? And why? If it was so bad, why was Seth Blatter elected? Because there was no one else. else. <laughs> the guy who ran against him dropped out because he knew he wasn't going to win anyway because it was a work. This it's is literally. Endless. Let's let's just keep it going. We've got yeah. Steve Carino coming up at the bottom of the hour, just about six minutes out. So this let's is, run. Oh, through let's these. just read the rest. This, this is like this Billboard is the great, music this is the best stuff here. Just play them all in a row. And then I look to see that FIFA has frantically announced 2015. <laughs> 2015. This year, this year, uh, uh, um, um, Olympic final in the World Cup begin May 27. If the FIFA is so bad, why is it? The USA wants to keep the FIFA World Cup. Why is it they began games on May 27th? May 27th, two days be before FIFA election. Why is it the US uh, uh, authorities sought to embarrass FIFA in Zurich? This sounds like all those conspiracy theory videos yeah. that have the terrible swipes and, that come with Avid. Yeah. Yeah, and also... Um, That's from that, where? The Onion. That story, folks. He was talking about frantically hurt putting a World Cup in, on starting May 27th. It's from The Onion. It's from, from The, the onion. onion. This That's basically... People, think of your Facebook walls when people are just posting things about, like... Lizard people are real, but so are rat people. Like, and yeah, it's sorry, a weird. I'll, I'll stop doing that. Sorry. It's a weird <laughs> link that doesn't exist. Onion. Yep. Oh, this boy. is a grown man. This, this is somebody's grandpa. Th yeah. This is this is basically what your mom does on social media. Take yeah. a story from the Onion, Honey, think it's real. Is this true? And uh, yeah, basically that. I I've seen it he happen before. But it's it's a little depressing. It's too. called some fact checking. Yeah, people. It, it's Snopes. I I think we should get Jack Warner uh, a link to Snopes. No, okay. but you mean this high profile FIFA official? He's FIFA, a high whatever. ranking political person said, in his this, country. This is the man who has a room for his cats, right? He, no, this is another guy. Okay, that, so that was, I'm I'm assuming this gentleman has an assistant. Yes. You can't. Just like search Google. No, I think when you're right. again, he referred to himself in the third person. Once you do that, you're already at a certain level of like, like th just uh, arrogant thought. What's that word I'm thinking of? Egotism, uh, uh, narcissism. Yeah, something like that. Like a grand, like a you're delusional. Like you're at that level where there's no turning. Nobody back. can right. <laughs> Nobody can put anything in front of you. But he's shuffling ever gonna... papers. Did he not look at any of the articles on The Onion that no. might say, like, this anything a, that The uh, Onion might say? It's a level of delusion of grandeur that yeah. anyone just... could drown in. And he's just swimming along. And we're not even done yet. We're not no. even, we are swimming, not. I, we've got to take a break in a minute. But, Sobes, I want you to play. Just We've got two more clips, right? Left, yeah. Right? Which one do you think is the, the worst of the two? Well, there's one called Big Evil America <laughs> and the Big Finish. So we'll go to Big Evil America before we take a break. And if we want to play the other one after the break, we can. I, yeah. Big Evil America. I made the point to you over and over that all this thing has stemmed from the failed U.S. bid to host the World Cup. I, want, I said before I say again, the U.S. applied to host, to host the World Cup in 2022 and they lost the bid to Qatar. A small country, an Arabic country, a Muslim country. A country that, that I could never gets 140 US degrees. embarrassment that a small country as Qatar, with less than 30,000 people as, as residents, could have been able to, to overcome them this way. I could understand their pain, but no one gives them the right to do what they are doing. I said before I say again, that no one, no one country has any divine right to host a World Cup. And if the FIFA authorities in their wisdom or lack of it chose to select Qatar for the World Cup, then so be it. Take your losses like a man and go. America. Uh, That's what I say to that. So it's yes, all... it's sour grapes. This all stems from sour grapes. Yeah, because if we even wanted to have a World Cup here, which yeah. city would we tear down? <laughs> To build a stadium, Montana. Yeah, we don't even need right. to. The whole we don't... state. The whole state. It's going to be a state where there's not a lot of. Ted Turner owns businesses. It anyway. like, uh, just... I was going to say we could have just since Detroit is already kind of. Yeah, <laughs> just keep it. Keep that. <laughs> let, let, you know what? Invigorate Detroit. GSI Nation next Thursday night, June 11th at 7 p.m. Eastern. Gotta say it will be taping a special episode live from Northern Bell in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, before Game Four of the NBA Finals. 
before you see LeBron and Steph Curry vie for basketball's biggest crown. Listen to the GSIA team break down the series and the rest of the world of sports in front of a live crowd in one of the best bars in Brooklyn. Do not miss our return to our home turf for our first live show in Brooklyn in over three years. Games, guests, bets, and more as we go hard on Thursday night before Game 4 of the Finals. To confirm to be on the guest list, email us at gottasayitradio at gmail.com. That's gottasayitradio at gmail.com. Also, to be entered into a special prize from us at Gotta Say It. That's next Thursday night, June 11th at 7 p.m. Eastern, right here on the Hive Mind Radio Network. Gotta say it, we go hard.